Hey guys, Joshua Peterson with Peterson Electrics. A little bit quieter in here for the car wash. Um, it's a second video about this pump that we just showed you. Um, basically, in a nutshell, if it says low voltage, you have to understand as an electrician that nominal voltage is 280. Or excuse me, two, um, it's going to be 208 volt three phase. Um, or it's going to be 480 volt three phase. And basically, in a nutshell, I had to undo six, five, and four that were tied together. These are small number tens. And then you had nine and three connecting to, on that thing was a black, eight and two to red, and seven and one to white. Um, but I rephased it, brown, orange, yellow, or boy, B-O-Y, okay, left to right. Um, so I rewired it, that's gonna be six and nine, five and eight, four and seven, and those have its own wire nut. You saw the almonds on there. And then you're gonna have um, your black to three, which is your brown, your red, to to two which is going to be your orange and your yellow which was going to be white to yellow or or one so let's go look at that real quick i hope this doesn't kick on um again guys i'm sorry i can't control them turning everything off if it kicks on but bottom line right here guys um the wire caps we're just going to use blues because they're only running 20 amps so it's not a big deal and then as we tighten all these up here you'll see that this is two i put my own numbers on them You'll see this is a one and this is a three. And then these guys back here, the color coding is really just not really helpful. It's you have to tag these yourself just so you don't mix it up. But six and nine, and then you had four and seven and uh, five and eight. And so if you look on that, um, that metal diagram I just had, the cover, it was six and nine, five and eight, four and seven. So you can see right here that your white, you're just gonna have one wire to your large conductor coming up feeding from the disconnect you're lying in okay so anyways i'm just trying to explain that schematic to you um I, it's really hard in the electrical field sometimes to know these things so i'm just trying to help out other electricians of course most homeowners aren't going to be messing with three phase in a car wash but bottom line guys again the low voltage high voltage pay attention to how it's wire nutted make sure you label it then wire nut it correctly and then i did bump start it um there is a trick to the disconnect i want to show you that so Give me one second. I thought these wire caps were on. I was checking the phase rotation. And you can do that down below here, guys. And I have a meter that's a phase rotator. Um, the battery just died, so I'm gonna do that. But it basically states that there's an L1, L2, and L3. And you're gonna line those up correctly. And when you have them, you're gonna be going L1, L2, L3, left to right. But you're gonna be putting it down here on the motor. Okay, the motor lead. So you gotta make sure they're spaced apart because you're turning 500 volts on basically right there. You won't want to arc anything. And then when I lit this up, it showed that all my rotation, there was nothing missing and the voltage was strong right here. But down below here, I have a dead battery that I just got this shipped to me. So it's 0.9, so I need a 9.2 battery. So this is dead. So we're gonna go ahead and hit that button and check which rotation. I already know that this is turning counterclockwise towards me, but I do need to verify with these guys here, which I don't think any of these maintenance guys know but my assumption is it does need to rotate this way because the fluid's gonna come this way in here and up and through, and then there's a shutoff valve for the water. So, and there's solutions will connect here. It basically is gonna be sucking it. It's a reclaimed system pump. Um, but yeah, so I'm a little bit blind here because they didn't tell me a lot and they just said, come wire it. Anyways, guys, thanks for joining us. Hopefully that'll help you out a little bit about the phase rotation meter meter as well as how to wire up the connections on a high voltage versus low voltage on a three-phase pump that's 20 amp. Uh, the video was done in December 2017. Thanks guys.